and welcome back to my channel. I am going to jump right into it because I don't have too much time. Today I want to share with you my art haul for the upcoming year. Um, I'm going to be teaching co-op two classes with 10 kids in each class so I need to get some supplies so I can teach as many aspects of art as I can. I'm not an art teacher. I am not like I didn't go to school for it. It's just a hobby. I enjoy doing it. So I signed up for it. So today we are starting up from scratch. I don't, uh, I'm learning as I go. So um, with this haul, the first thing I grabbed was how to teach art to children. This is like a step-by-step -step book. It has different ideas. Then it prompts you to teach the different elements of art like line shape color value texture form and space so i thought this would be handy next up i grabbed some palette paper and this is actually super cool because it doesn't it's like a shiny material and then this side is normal but it doesn't bleed through when you do your art stuff like water color i mean for watercolor i would say use this side and then it won't bleed through but um, I can also cut the little pieces and have them put paint on it and use it instead of like, what are those things called where you hold paper in it? I mean, not paper, different types of paint. You know what I'm talking about. So this will come in handy for a bunch of different projects. So we grab that. Next, moving on, I grabbed <sighs> acrylic paint. And it comes with 24 colors and I figured once we mastered some techniques did a couple of projects and the kids are more comfortable like it has all these colors we can utilize acrylic and use this on like um canvas so I want to do the little like I guess later on when we get a hang of it because it's gonna be I believe 14 classes like 14 class periods um, maybe halfway through we can utilize canvases and use this and also we're doing a craft with clay and once it dries we can paint so we will definitely find use for that next up we grabbed well i grabbed two sets of the junior artist oil pastels for students it's got 25 colors my daughter already opened this one but it's like a good beginner set and I figured that kids could share, they can get comfortable with it, they can actually hold it and you know, it, I'm not afraid if they break it or mess it up because it was fairly inexpensive. So we have that. Then, along the lines of painting, I still have other stuff but I need to dig it out. I already put all of the supplies in here, but I got a bunch of varieties of brushes. So the first set of brushes I got now I'll try to link and screenshot all the like the exact same things that I got from Amazon. So it was these came with I believe 10 brushes, like very thick, sturdy brushes. I got those and then a bunch of the finer ones so that they have a variety, they can choose, they can experiment. Like I don't care about perfection, I just want them to be exposed to different techniques different styles different projects and you know have fun with it it's going to be like elementary level kids first grade second grade so it doesn't have to be perfect um on the line of that i got little cups so these are supposed to be like medicine cups but i think it'll be perfect for like putting paint in putting water in when they're drawing so we can use those up all of it i mean like three bucks for those so it was perfect and then oh gosh this is heavy so i got two of the air dry clay by crayola and this thing is very neat actually it's like when you open it i don't even want to open it right now but it's very like it's wet but if you want to have it like more movable and workable you just add a little bit more water and then you let it dry for two, three days, and then you can paint it or do whatever with it. So for little kids, since we don't have a um, like the oven clean, I think this is perfect. So it air dries, they can form stuff with it. We learn about form and then create a couple projects. And this I think is more than enough for 10 kids. And I have two of them, so it'll be fine. Um, what else did we grab? 
Oh, here's the other one. All right, stay. Okay, so I was very ambitious and I'm like, oh, this is so cute. These kids will absolutely look darling in these. I don't know how well they will stay or if they will get tangled up, but they were fairly inexpensive. I think there was 12 of them for maybe 16. I'm not sure, but I'll have to check. I'll have to link it all. But it was these cute little aprons. If I could protect their clothes even a little bit, why not? So I grabbed a bunch of these and the kids could just share. And then, what else we got? Oh goodness, I shoved everything in the basket to keep it away. Oh, this is, I think you say tempura, temp, I don't even know how to say it. It's a paint set. So this I'm gonna utilize in the beginning when we're doing all kinds of paintings. Cause this stuff, it's for, like it's beginner friendly and it's washable and all this stuff. So they're little just tiny jars but we don't need much when we're beginning and we can mix and we can let the kids experiment and then like i said once they're a little bit more better what they're doing we could do the acrylics but these come with 40 colors uh glitter neon standard metallic glow in the dark and then it had 15 brushes so some of the brushes i just showed came from this set so that was a good buy and then oh my gosh I have a whole big box of watercolor paper. So I figured this is not only for watercolor, I can use it for any of the projects and it will come in handy. And I think, I think this should last us. It comes with, I believe over a hundred pages. So we'll, we'll have plenty of time to use up all of these. And if I don't use it all this term, I'm sure I'll use the next term. Okay, and then one more item, I believe. Okay, these came, I believe, with 24. I just didn't bring them all out. But these are like little personal watercolor sets for the kids to have. I mean, we could all share, but how fun is it to have your own little set? So the kids will get a set, they can use them, they can do whatever they want, go crazy, and then I could always repurpose them for the next classes. But I think that's all. So this is my start for the art classes. Um, if anything, like if I need anything else down the road, if we're doing a new project, like if I need tissue paper or I mean, whatever we need, I can buy later, but I think this is a good start for all the crafts we can do. And I'm gonna show you a couple of the craft ideas and art ideas I already do have on hand. So I did not mention, but I will have a picture of it. I got a bunch of black construction paper and colored construction paper, not the Crayola brand, but I believe it's called like True Ray or something. It's a lot more durable. So I did invest in some of that because I figured once we do our projects, it would be so much neater to put it on a black construction paper, like better presentation, better to take it home. So I'm gonna share a couple of the projects that we for sure will be doing with the kiddos and that I already have prepped. So first up, we're going to be making birch trees paintings and I used acrylic paper but I'm thinking when the kids are doing this project they can do it on canvas paper so they'll have the little canvas prints and then they can do it on here and then voila and they're mixing the colors and we're going to be doing warm colors or cool colors so we have that one then for watercolor we have a little under the sea painting so I have like a cutout that they're going to do cut it out, paint it, and then glue it back on to the watercolor paper. So it's like kind of layered, so it makes it a better effect. We have that. Then for symmetry painting, we are doing either butterflies or whatever cutouts I have, like the, if the boys want to do tractors or cars and the girls want to do flowers or butterflies, whatever you want to do, they will fold the sheet, do one side with the paintings and then fold it on each other. And when you open it, it's a symmetrical painting. So that's another example. And then uh, mouse paint. There's a story that goes with this. So I'll read the book and then I'll have the kiddos cut out white little mice from a cutout I have. And they will mix the different colors to represent when you mix colors, they form a new color. 
So when you mix the primary colors, they form the secondary colors. So that's another project we're gonna work on. And then for, what did I do? The Scary Night. It's the famous painting that we all I'm sure have seen at one point or another. So we're gonna do watercolor and then I'm gonna have some oil pastels and they can do the little swirls and put little stickers, either gold foil stickers or just regular star stickers, whatever you have. And they can do their own real presentation. And oh, and this is the last one I have for now. I've been working slowly on prepping so I have everything on hand and I don't have to like rush the last second and try to figure out what craft we're doing or art. We're gonna do symmetry art. So pretty much you write your name and then you outline the way the shape of your name, like the letters, cut it out and when you fold it open, it looks like a different circle or blob. And then you just decorate it any way you want. So it's like a little symmetrical alien, but it's your name. So that's all I have for now. And I was thinking maybe using like, I don't know, making little notes on each side. Like I did right, where did I do it? Right here. So the name of what the art project is and then the child's name. So they will have a little remembrance of what it was that they actually did and who made it. But for now, that's all I have, and I think it's a good start if you're looking for any ideas for art, if you want to know what's out there. I'm no expert by any means, but if you're brand new or if you're a homeschooling mom and you're trying to get some ideas or need ideas for just, I don't know, your class, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll be back. Bye!